This is designed to bring you stress relief and to anchor yourself more in God and on the word. So go ahead and close your eyes. Please do not ever listen to this while driving. And go ahead and just become aware of your breathing. Perhaps taking a deep, deep inhale. Making it as slow of an inhale as possible. Exhaling through your lips, slowing it down more and more. Perhaps you may ask God under your breath or in your mind, God be with me right now. I need you. Very good. And now relax your forehead. Relax your eyes. Relax your cheekbones. even your ears. Allow your jaw to drop all the way down to the floor, creating that space between your teeth. I wonder how much better you already feel simply allowing your physical body to relax as you begin to focus more and more on God. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms all the way down through your fingertips. Relaxing your torso, allowing your breath to freely flow. And relax your legs all the way down to the tips of your toes. And as you begin to take deeper, and deeper breaths. Send a wave of relaxation through your body with every exhale. Allowing your physical body to relax even more now. Allow your eyelids to relax. And begin to come forward with a humble and gracious heart and just start thanking God for who he is and all he's done in your life. Do this now while I'm quiet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your unfailing love. Very good.
Very good. Now we'll begin to imagine the color you love is flowing in through the top of your head, flowing all the way through your body and out the bottoms of your feet. This color relaxing you. This color releasing you. This color helping you let go of any other tensions that are held up in your body. Very good. And now I want you to imagine being somewhere that you love, somewhere you feel safe, comfortable, someplace that is perfect for you. It could be someplace you've been before or somewhere you completely make up such as in outer space, at the tip top of a mountain, or floating through the air, anywhere you'd like to go and be, do that now. And as you begin to imagine this place that you know you're safe and comfortable, notice the colors or shades that surround you. Take a few nice deep breaths. Breathing in the fragrances that may or may not exist in your safe place. As we continue to allow our mind to relax. I want you to notice any sounds there in your safe place. Very good. Perhaps there's a healthy or delicious taste associated with your safe place. Very good. And as you relax in your creative and safe place, I want you to imagine two movie screens in front of you. Only one movie screen is going to have anything on it to start. And on that movie screen, is a challenge or a problem you're currently facing. It could be fears of poverty, fears of relationship breaks, fear of losing your loved one or something else entirely different. But I want you to put on that movie screen something that's just really been causing a lot of stress or a lot of pain. And as you watch this movie screen, it's almost as if you are observing someone else. You're able to look at yourself from an outside view.
and as someone who loves God, begin to notice what you want to tell this person struggling in that movie screen. Perhaps you want to show them something. Perhaps you want to hug them and tell them everything is going to be okay. Or perhaps something entirely different. Go ahead and do that now. Very good. And now begin to imagine placing 100% trust and faith in God, whatever that looks like to you. And if you don't know, you can say out loud or quietly in your mind, Lord, I ask for wisdom and knowledge of you or of a situation. And as you begin to imagine the Lord intervening as you place more trust, more confidence, and more love in him, I want you to imagine that first movie screen slowly dimming as the second movie screen is coming to life. Remembering that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalm 34, 18. Perhaps you can feel his light, bright, healing rays flowing in, almost as if it's the heat from the sunshine. But it's God's love and glory and grace being poured out into you. And on that movie screen, I want you to watch as you continue to anchor yourself in God more and more. Hebrews 6, 19, we have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain. Psalm 62, 5 through 6, for God alone, O my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, I shall not be shaken. And as you watch yourself become more alive and stronger and whatever else you're experiencing in that second movie screen, I want you to imagine this spirit-filled you taking on that same challenge the first movie screen was revealing. But this time, see and experience yourself as vigilant and attentive and strengthened and energized through the truth of the word. The Lord is our rock, our salvation, our fortress. We shall not be shaken. See yourself standing firm in his love and truth, knowing that he is the creator and redeemer and your loving father who cares for you. 
He sees you and he hears you and he loves you. Focus your attention only on him. Focus your attention only on him. Very good. And now I want you to imagine a dial has just appeared on your chest. And I want you to imagine now turning that dial up. And as you turn that dial up, you are giving God more and more of the control. You are trusting him more and more. And as you turn that dial up, you see in that movie screen someone becoming more Christ-like over time, happy, thriving, joyful, free in Jesus. And I want you to find exactly on that dial where you want to be could be all the way up, max trust. Or it could be lower or someplace else entirely. And God cares exactly where it is for you today. And I want you to lock that in place, knowing you can unlock and turn it up at any time but I want you to lock in that confidence, that joy, that strength, and that happiness, that version two movie screen you experienced. Take this with you through the rest of the day and beyond because God's word is alive and present. Beautiful job. I'll begin to count you up to bring more mental energy to your body as you conquer the rest of your day today. One, starting to come back out of the more relaxed state, keeping your eyes closed for as long as you like. Two, moving your fingers and your toes. Three, putting a smile on your face and perhaps giving yourself a hug and some love, knowing that it's better to love ourselves than get down on ourselves. Four, starting to wiggle your body, maybe stretching out a little bit. Five, beginning to open your eyes. Six, lots of energy coming back to your body or coming to your body. Seven, arms up over the top of your head, stretch your body out. Say, thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Thank you for being here. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Comment below. We got this. We got this because of Jesus. Have a great day.